Hey, Mark Nelson. Today I want to talk about what is holding you back. There has to be something holding you back. I don't know if it's something from your past. It could be fear of failure. It could be you don't think you're good enough. It could be you don't think you have enough value. It could be a family member telling you you're no good. It could be uh, something hanging you up about money. There's all so many things that could be holding you back. What was just holding me back, I was going to do this outside and it started raining. So I jumped in my car before I got so wet. Hey, if you're coming on here live, tell me where you're coming from below. If you're coming on the replay, hit hashtag replay. Tell me where you're coming from. Have you ever wondered though, what is truly holding you back? Have you ever wondered, have you gotten so close to something and you just couldn't get over the hump? See, that was happening to me and I couldn't understand it. I grew up in a really normal family, really normal family. And I, all my family's friends always kept telling me how good I was, how the, the world is ahead of me, how I'm going to always achieve. I always felt so loved growing up, but there I was so close all my life to getting exactly what I wanted, to achieving all my dreams. And I just couldn't get there. And I didn't know what was happening. Never totally understood it. See, growing up, I was kind of a a shy, introverted kid. You know, if you wanted me to get on the dance floor, no stinking way, that's tall. I didn't want anybody looking. Can you relate to that? I mean, can you re relate to being shy? Is Was that in your past, being an introvert? Did you always think people were looking at you, kind of laughing at you? See, I did. And I didn't know where that was coming from because, again, I grew up with my family and friends, they always told me I can achieve anything I wanted to and I was good enough to do whatever I wanted to. But something kept holding me back, especially in business. I kept getting, you know, getting that close. I was this close to busting it and I just couldn't get over the hump. So I actually reached out to a good friend who has helped me grow my business, a coach. And we started going back into my childhood. And, you know, this was, I, I don't fault anybody for this, but here's what it was. I had a very sarcastic sibling who was older than I was, who was six years older than I was. And he always used to make fun of me because I was a dreamer. See, I wanted to play in the NBA. I wanted to do some amazing things. And he always kind of put his thumb down and said, Mark, you are good enough to do that. What are you thinking about? You are good enough to do that. And he kept drilling it. And dr I didn't even know it was happening until working with this thing. So how did I deal with it? Because I am good enough. And it still comes back. See, I, I got to push it away. I fill myself with better thoughts. I surround myself with a community of people <coughs> who support me and help me. So here's what I suggest to you. You go back, find out what that fear, because there is a fear there holding you back and you got to push through that. Surround yourself with great people. Surround yourself with a community that's going to be lo that will love you. Surround yourself with somebody that believes in you. And if you can't find anybody believe in you, I believe in you. So let me be the one to say, you can do whatever you want to do. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve. Hey, if I can be of any help, reach out to me. If you got any value in this, please give it a like. Share it with your teammates. Just spread some love. You all take care. And hey, remember, I believe in you and you can accomplish anything, anything you want to achieve. Go get your dreams. Bye.